You're listening to the Eldest Jiry Channel. <laughs> The Moral of the Story By Jeffrey E. Bright Performed by Otis Gyre Once upon a time, in land of the near future, lived a peaceful nation of contented people. There were no wars, no overt starvation, and very little violence. The people were comfortable in their homes with obedient teenagers and satisfied with their nine-to-five jobs. All was right in the world, with everyone. Everyone, that is, except Don Maxwell. Don was the kind of person you probably know, always going somewhere, always doing something, always something penciled in his day planner. He always had more irons in the fire than a ten-iron blacksmith. One day, the fire got a little too full for Don, so he decided to take a break from life for a while. Don scheduled a vacation to a little-known third-world country. The trip was very peaceful for Don, yet the fear and dread of returning to work did not sit well with his blood pressure. Sensing his discontent, a local villager directed him to a man whom the villager said could help him. The villager said he should visit the holy man, known as Av. So Don went to see Av. Av told Don to take easy with life. Leave time for yourself. Don told Av he didn't know that was possible. He was too deep into the lifestyle. Av then offered him a little help toward the goal of slowing down. Av gave Don a little-known herb, which Av called Oladunin, or Olud for short. He told Don this herb would not only help with his high blood pressure, but also give him the chance to slow down, take life one day at a time. Av gave Don a few ounces of dried olude and instructed him to use one leaf in tea every day after work. Don thanked him, gave him a couple of dollars, and was about to leave when Av offered a warning. Do not use the olude any other way than I have instructed. The results could be dangerous and deadly. Don assured him he wouldn't and went back to his home. Weeks later, Don realized his regimen of Olude tea was working. His blood pressure was under control. He had fewer headaches and the stress of life seemed to melt away. If he would have stuck with Av's regimen, his life would have been a wonderful thing. However, as people like Don have a tendency to do, he began to think what he could do to get better peace of mind from the herb. One day, he packed the herb into a pipe and smoked it. It was close to a euphoria, he found out. Smoking offered a better, faster result. Once again, Don schemed to make it better. Don bought a mortar and pestle and ground his remaining stash into a powder, which he snorted. That was the ticket. Don felt a rush of pure olude in his veins and he knew he had the right way to take the herb. Unfortunately for Don, after repeating snorting of the powder, his attitude began to change. Don started having violent mood swings when he wasn't on the herb, and the herb started losing its potency as well. Don, remembering the shadow of what he was, decided to take matters into his hands. Don smuggled a gun onto a local passenger plane and tried to force the pilot to take him to that third little world country where Av lived. After five hours of negotiations with the government law enforcement, the law became tired of Don's shenanigans. The law had a friendly police sniper put a little bullet between old Don's eyes. Despite the warnings of Av, Don didn't listen and paid the ultimate price. Moral? Av Zolud powder corrupts absolutely. Visit my Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Otis Jiry. If you haven't yet, please hit the like button and subscribe today and share this video with everyone on your social media. It helps more than you could ever imagine. Again, 
Thank you for listening and have a great day. God bless you.